Hey race fans and welcome back. I wanted to provide a quick update as you might have noticed non-racing content has slowed down a little bit on the channel over the last couple of months and I thought it would be good to talk you through what's been going on in the background, what we have coming up for the summer and also later in the year. So what's been happening? Well, basically in the last few months, the nine to five has picked up uh, and that's reduced my content creation time to evenings and weekends. Any of you out there with kids will know that fitting in anything additional after work hours can be pretty tricky uh, with two little ones. Um, a lot of time has also been dedicated to getting the S1 iRacing League off the ground. And we're now into our second season. We're super happy with how that's going. We've broadened out to a second series. So so that's taken up a little bit of time just to make sure we've got enough drivers on the grid and we can create a sustainable product uh, for the drivers that have joined us. As always, we're always looking for new drivers. So if you want to jump in and race with us, uh, check the Discord link in the channel and feel free to hop in. And then finally, you know, I love getting out the first batch of setup guides. Uh, there are more on the list, which we hope to get to probably later this summer. Uh, and a big thanks to all of you that have watched the videos, liked the videos, provided feedback. It's all super useful as we look to understand what other setup content you might find useful. And so what's next? Well, we're kicking off our interview series with an interview with Greg Hoverson. Uh, that will drop in the next couple of weeks, uh, and I'm really excited to share that with you all. Greg is a 6K iRacing driver who's participated in the Porsche Esports Sprint Challenge Canada this year. Uh, and he shares his journey with us from real life racing into iRacing and his plans for the future. Really enjoyed my sit down with him last month. The weekly live race streams will continue. We have the bigger endurance iRacing special events such as Spa coming up, uh, but also I'm planning to do a few more iRacing officials. My goal for the end of this year is to see if I can push towards uh, 4K iRating. I'm 3K right now, so it'll be a bit of a lift, uh, but you can see how I get on there. Some more setup guides, as I said, should be released towards the end of the summer. Just need to get around to them, you know, to cover some of the areas that I'd like to have got into already, but we haven't had time to such as force feedback base shakers and a couple of others so we'll get to those as soon as we can uh, and then finally probably the most exciting area for me personally uh, is to push into some IRL car content um, this will be anchored this year on the new RS6 performance uh, that's going to be our new daily driver at home so we're super excited we should be taking delivery of that uh, later this winter we'll take you through the order process the journey to delivery and our first drive out of the dealership um, so super excited about that one That's everything I wanted to share for now. Again, a big thank you for all of your support to date. We crossed the threshold of 250 subscribers last month, which is a small but awesome milestone for the channel, something that we're really proud of. The goal is to clear a thousand subscribers in the next 12 months, so let's see how we get on. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you on the grid.